Welcome back everyone to Hey Abbott 1727. Today we've got a mail call from my Silver Squad. I'm sure there's a lot of good goodies in it. Can't remember all, but let's get into it. start with the this one first. First package empty. And let's see, we'll start right off here at the top. Alright. First off, we have a koala. 2020 Preserve Planet Earth comes with a certificate of authenticity. Only 750 made. Nice case. Next up, looks like we got some nickels. We got a 1924 Buffalo. A 1920 Buffalo. And we have a roll of 1950s assorted nickels. get into those sometime. Next we up looks like we have a ASC and it is 2005 20th anniversary MS 69 Silver Eagle Very sharp looking. I'm a fan of America's Silver Eagles. Next up, we have one ounce. This 
Maple Leaf. Yes, 2020. Canadian Maple Leaf. $5 coin. looking next up it look like we have a one gram yep US Army silver good look in there so little small thing but a gram is just another gram into the silver stack oh looks like we have some constitutional first off oh these are the half dollars I asked DT to set aside for my grandsons 2019 that is for my grandson Ezekiel. 2018, that is for my grandson Benjamin. I already have my granddaughters, and it was in 2021 for Victoria. So I was trying to find one for the grandsons, and I was having a hard time. Let's see, next up we have looks to be a nineteen seventy six bicentennial forty percent silver Ike. I love bicentennials. I was born in nineteen seventy five, so not having a nineteen seventy five Ike half dollar or quarter. This was what I collected. Very sharp. I did not have a silver proof before, and I believe I took that in on a trade with Eric Douglas. So, Eric, I thank you for that. I uh, traded off a silver. Star Wars round, or not round, the bar, and he is a Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, but not as much as he does, so I uh, wanted to go ahead and let him have it, and we did a little bit of trading, and we came out both good on each end, so thank you very much, Eric. Here we got some more constitutional and... Looks like we got a silver buffalo round. I think this is a half ounce. Yep. Half ounce Golden State Mint. Indian Buffalo. Love the sound of that. Here we got 1964 quarter, another 64 quarter, and a 52. These are all going to be. So here's a 64 Denver. It's a 64 Denver. This is a 52 Philly. Here's the 52.
and here are the 64s. Both of these are from Denver. Next we got a 40% 67 Kennedy. And that is going to be a Philly. Then we get to probably, <clears throat> excuse me, my favorite silver coins. <clears throat> and these are, of course, the Mercury Silver Dimes. Here first we got a 1945 Philly. And that noise you hear in the background is me setting my micro, not my microscope, but my uh, magnifier down since I can't see very well. Here's a 42 Philly. Nineteen forty two Philly. Next up. Oh, it looks like it could possibly be a another ASE. Oh. This is sharp. I forgot all about this. I believe this is another one I got in on the trade with Eric. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is a 2002 colorized ASE with some hologram. I know quite a few people do not like colorized rounds. I particularly don't care for them, but when they look like that, how could you not? That's beautiful. On to the next package we have here. Cut this one all the way open. Can you say Papa? First up, we got a 1967 Special Mint set. I've been looking for one of these.
Next up, we got a 1968 proof set. Packaging's a little tore up, but uh, the inside contents are very nice. And I can find a replacement package, no big deal. Next up, we got a one ounce breaker head Liberty Round. Very nice design. Here we got a Johnson Matheny one ounce silver bar. I don't know where this thing opens at or if it even does open, but we'll leave it just like this until I can get a plastic holder for it. It's serial numbered. Another silver round. Liberty Bell. One ounce silver round. Yeah, it looks like we have another one ounce silver. Oh, we have a booby coin. This is a 2015 Libertad. Very nice. There we got a oh I wanna thank DT for this. Um he knew I've been wanting to get one of these and I've not had a chance to and uh he switched this out with me for a round. This is the Noah coin. Um, my son is named Noah, so I wanted to get one of these frames because the detail on this is just unbelievable. I'm not sure I've ever seen another silver round that has had this much detail. So this belongs to my son, of course, Noah. So he will get his hands on it one day. Coming down towards the end. Here 
So we have a 1960 Philadelphia mint set. Looks like I need to find an envelope and the Denver side to this. We have a 1905 Barber Quarter and from New Orleans. And there is a Benji hiding out in this 1959, Denver. What we have here. Legacies of Freedom, United States and United Kingdom Silver Bullion Coin Set. I forgot all about this. And it has a one ounce, one dollar silver American Eagle and a silver um, one ounce Britannia. Two pound Britannia. There's the Britannia. There's my coffee all the way. American Eagle from 2005, 2003, I'm sorry. Here's the back side of them. So set. And last but not least, no, oh, this is something very special to me because this is my very first piece of gold. And we have a golden eagle, one tenth ounce. I cannot make out the date, even with the magnifying glass. I know it's an early one because it has the Roman numeral date on it, in which I believe they did those for the first couple of years, and then they went to actually having the printed date on it. I could be wrong, but. focus a little bit better. Absolutely stunning. Okay, that wraps it up for this mail call from my Silver Squad. I want to thank the guys out there, DT, Jeff, and Ace. You guys do an amazing job. Great channel. If you've never checked it out, get over to my Silver Squad on YouTube. So, until next mail call or grab bag which should be coming up very soon here's a picture of the total haul till next time peace out mm -hmm.